incredibly important for kids, it's particularly unstructured play. We're talking about those pure forms of play, which are totally child-motivated, child-directed, you know, where they make up their own games and their own rules, and they just have the freedom to, to play. Little is um, more important for their brain development, um, for their health and happiness than being able to um, have time to play. It doesn't necessarily help to take play out of kids' schedule and um, to push them to do more that is academic or athletic earlier. And, and in fact, it may hurt. One of the things that play does is it really helps kids learn how to regulate their emotions and um, their behaviors. Today's five-year-old has about the self-regulatory capacity of uh, a three-year-old in the 1940s. And um, today's seven-year-old is just barely at the five-year-old level from 60 years ago. Kids are playing less than they have in previous generations, and we're, it is changing the way that they de develop cognitively. So we, we want to do whatever we can to help kids have the time that they need to play. Particularly, you know, for younger kids, they really need to have time for imaginative play. That imaginative play is really important for kids developing their social skills. This is how I think about floor time. If you enjoy doing it, then what a great way to be able to connect with your kids. But I do not think it's important to play with ki your kids in ways that bore you. Clearly we've done fine without a whole lot of uh, floor time until now. And So the key thing is that the kids are having um, some play and before they're four or five that really that can just mean an interaction between parents you know with a little baby it's the it's the peekaboo that is you know things like that can be small little interactions that are really important and then as kids get older they really need to learn to play by themselves and with each other and to negotiate that realm without having a parent lead that play. I'm going to play fairy. There are a lot of parents who hover a little bit too much, maybe, and that it's totally okay. You don't need to feel guilty about letting your kids go off with their friends and um, make up their own games. I always say, unless somebody's being unkind to somebody else, then you don't really need to step in. Childhood has really changed quite a lot. Some of it, too, is because childhood has become so commercialized. So kids are handed a, a ready-made, a platter of characters, plot lines, and props. Um, and so they don't have to, you know, use a stick to be a fairy wand. They have a fairy wand. I think we've really stopped telling kids to just go outside and play because we're worried. We really try and um, restrict them a little bit because we're worried about their safety. So what can we do to try and get back to some of that old-fashioned play? The one thing is just making sure that they have enough time. Imaginative play can take some time to develop and the experts say half an hour minimum, but imaginative play that goes on for hours at a time is really better. The message is go out and play and use play with your kids as a way to really strengthen your bond and deepen your relationship and just know that it really needs to just do what the kid wants to do.